Hey everybody, welcome back to Silent Hill 4. We've done a little um, reorganization. I dropped all the broken golf clubs, took my one of my remaining first aid kits out with me, and left a candle just for the hell of it. So we're going to head all the way down now to the bottom of this place. I mean, at least when you go to the next place, you'll have, you'll have something. What the hell is that? This would be... That's a baby. That's a toddler. He's dancing. Dancing baby is getting tasered. Could be, could be refer it's a reference to Walter's personal life. So did I become your uncle or no? Hey, hey, Sabrina. Just random guest commentators for every new Silent Hill 4 session. <laughs> Tune in to Dave Ventral Death Standing. Let's say where we somehow get Norman Reedus. <laughs> God damn, that would be a dream. There's a diary on the ground here. So let's see what's going on down here. There's a dairy on here. I had that weird dream today. The one with the man with the long hair and coat. Oh, the, trying oh, to look for his mother again. Oh, the local flasher. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> the flasher slasher. <laughs> I saw that man with the coat 10 years ago at this apartment. He flashed me. That jerk. He flashes you and his penis is a knife. Oh, my God. And it's a huge one. He was going up the stairs carrying a really heavy tool, an old looking bowl, and a bag that was dripping blood. I didn't think to call the authorities on it because, God damn, I'm not thinking right. I never saw him again after that, but a few days later, the neighbors complained they had strange, heard strange noises coming from the supposedly empty room 302. Again, cops? Goddamn construction workers. Right? <laughs> so I took a look, a room, look around room 02 myself and found signs that someone had been in there, but not, not other than that. But then that's when all the weird shit started. Sunderland. Okay, so now Sunderland knows his apartment's haunted. And this looks to be my room. Sunderland's a bad um Sunderland is one of, no Sunderland is a clueless one. But admittedly, can you tell Sunderland <laughs> the story and ha think have him think you're sane? Are you gonna find yourself like asleep somewhere and it's like a whole dream? That kind of has been happening. That's a few been minutes. the entire game. <laughs> yeah. There's candles on the floor. We're not actually not allowed to take these. <clears throat> Aw. This is uh, room three oh two of the past and he's been busy with his hauntings. How come oh. he gets the long lasting candles? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, what, what, Why does he get a turntable? What Walmart did he go to? There was once was a baby when a mother who... I kind of don't like this file because this shit is like really <coughs> whacking you in the head with the goddamn brick of unsubtlety. Yeah. <laughs> there once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord. They say, oh no, the baby's out. Well, time to get the gourd. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> That was a weird <laughs> and forced rhyme there, Elliot. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah, fuck One it. day the cord was cut, the mom purple. went to sleep, and the baby was left all alone. You can't rhyme purple with purple. Fucking hell. <laughs> Not with that attitude. I but the baby try. made lots of friends at Wish House, and everyone was very nice to him. So his friends then told him how to wake up his mom. So the baby went right away to go wake her up, but mommy was not waking up because she had a very bad case of the deads. Because the one that because the one he was trying to wake up was actually the devil. Oh, shucks. <laughs> the Shock. baby had been deceived. Twist. Poor baby. The baby cried and cried and cried, but when he thought of the mother, he remembered the feeling of being connected to her through the magical cord. Mo just, mothers are the devil! Just then, a ray of light came down from the sky, which was warm and made the baby feel good. When the baby looked into his hand, he saw that the magical cord was lying there. Did Walter write this? With the cord clutched in his hand, the baby went to sleep. This is like bedtime a, story. It does sound like a bad creepypasta written by an eight-year-old. It is. I thought Sunderland. Like I thought Sunderland. The baby and the mother I were loving each other very much. The umbilical cord still attached, and then the mother was the devil. Exactly. I, I thought Sunderland would be the one writing it because of the cord. No, it was Walter's bedtime story. And now we get a oh, more. God. Now we get a better version of it, in my opinion. She who was called the Holy Mother be not holy one whit. Oh, not one whit. <laughs> the descent of the Holy Mother be not, but the descent of the devil. And the 21 sacraments are not sacramental one wit. Oh, no, the 21 sacraments are but the 21 heresies. So Walter, in his desperate attempt to find his mother, is now being duped by the devil. Why are you being Scottish? Oh, who fucking cares? <laughs> I'm, probably Scot I'm probably Scottish somewhere in my goddamn ancestry, jackass. <laughs> to give birth to a realm of wickedness within the blessed realm of our Lord, be blasphemy and the work of the devil. If thou wouldst stop the descent of the devil, you must bury part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the conjurer's true body. Remember that umbilical cord Sunderland's hiding? Oh, I mm -hmm. guess we're going to find that. And now we must pierce the conjurer's flesh with the eight spears of void, darkness, gloom, despair, temptation, source, watchfulness, and chaos. Or, or as we like to call it... <laughs> yeah, it's a really weird acronym. That's, that's, a, weird, very that's, weird that's, acronym. A, weird, that's a weird Tales of subtitle. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you do this, the unholy flesh will become that which was once it was. Basically, this is going to be your end game goal here. When you're fighting Walter, you're going to get the eight spears that are hung around the area and stab his umbilical cord with each of them. Doing When you do that, you actually take away Walter's godliness within his world, and then you can take him on. Oh, okay. I don't yeah. even know where Henry's sticking all these files, by the way. Then again, I can say the same of any Resident Evil character. Where, where else, Matt? His pocket. <laughs> that would be the obvious answer. <laughs> it's in Celine. No, Celine. They <laughs> <can't>, I uh, <laughs> Celine. I cast. Why must I destroy this wall? Somebody's trying to get in there. Let's head in here. Hey, there's another hole. No, 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 not yet. This is my bathroom. Hey, remember the hole here? It's back. I was it's wondering a hole why. In a hole. What the hell? It's a super hole. There's no mirror here. Damn. I should have dropped my magnum size condom from my magnum size dong that I use for my magnum size glory hole. <laughs> hey, there's a candle. Ooh, candle. Ooh, piece of paper. I can't break down the wall. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> Game over. What the hell rings? Eileen equals mother's body, blood. I was going to say, I tried again. Didn't do it. Honestly, we're witnessing, we're witnessing the end of um, Joseph Schreiber here. What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. What the hell happened to it? Is it my room? And the air is heavy. My head hurts. Looks like a face. This is remember the um. Do you guys remember the very beginning intro of the game? Yeah. That was not. That was Joseph. That wasn't us. That wasn't a nightmare Henry was having. That was Joseph Schreiber living out his last minutes. Oh. Basically, all these red papers here are indicative of Joseph succumbing to despair, becoming the despair that Walter wants of the uh, twenty-one sacraments. But he's also he's also being the um the pastor of wisdom. In other words, he's teaching me to become. He's giving me all the information I need about Walter to become the receiver of wisdom. Hence, the twenty first of the sacraments. So okay, so that's why the twin victors were saying receiver, right? Because they all know they know that I'm one of them too. Hmm. Nothing else I can do here. Well, I can't take that candle either, which sucks. Really? I know, it's like such a cock tease. Wait, there's a typewriter. Can you save your progress there? <laughs> mm, wrong game. <laughs> so you need ink candles? Ink candles. Fuck. So what happened to Joey? Hi. You got her back. Yeah. Like I said, this wasn't one of my best efforts at protecting Eileen, but it's I'm not too bad at off at it though. I'm actually really I'm actually really glad it's in real time too. I'm kinda distracted though by the clear segments between her chest and arms. You can cut that shit kind of pops out. Oh my god, it's Slenderman. <laughs> no, it's um Schreiber. It's, it's Alucard. Because the same voice actor. Really? Robert Belgrade? Yeah. I'll be damned. Where's the Dracula? No, no. Uh Dracula was Let me I'll check again. Harry Mason and uh Silent Hill One. Yeah. Michael Michael uh, something. Michael G. Michael G, yeah. Stains and corruption of this world. This is CNN. <laughs> right? 21 sacraments. The only way to purify her. Walter really screwed the pooch on this one. Yeah, it's Robert Belgrade. Okay. And created this twisted world. Actually, believe it or not, the twisted world is just inside Walter's head. Nothing more than an inhuman killing. I actually hear it more now. Yeah. Well, he's dead now. All oh, right, problem solved. <laughs> oh. Complete the 21 sacraments. Fuck. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. <laughs> to return to the bosom of Henry. <laughs> bosom. Death is too good for you. <laughs> Pretty much this. The, ch the inner child is now... The child's self is trying to... um is actually somewhat, not completely, but somewhat rebelling against the whole idea of what the adult's doing, but the adult's too far gone. Mm. At this point, Walter, at the beginning of the game, as I said before, we just see Walter as a killer, but now Walter's kind of, while he's still a killer, he's ultimately more of a mad dog kind of killer. You kind of want to put him out of his misery at this point. He, he pops out from the ceiling. I'm interested in this. <laughs> right? What if he just sticks his head out? Fascinating. <laughs> So is it like um, ch just child innocence just trying to grasp onto the mind? I'm How do I put it to you like this? The child's goals and the adult's goals are two different things. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the child represents what little innocence Walter has left. Right. Yeah. That's at least trying to at grab onto it. It's a small bit yeah. of good. Right. But it's just not well, working. Well, it's not even a small bit of good. It's more like um, 
innocence, I want to say, is exactly one for one with good, personally. But Oh, yeah, that's going to be the other gimmick. In Prison World, in the next place, he's going to be a lot more uh, active. True location. Is there music with singing Yeah, there's always the music that he was just with us. Like, can you please turn that music down? I can't <laughs> really give you my speech. I would, but this is my jam. Yeah, that's a Mary E, actually. Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. Ooh. You must kill she's done. She's done a lot of the vocal tracks for Silent Hill. Take care of the... Ch Alexa, yeah. cut it. <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, this is so sad. <laughs> Alexa, play Despacito. Two. Fuck. <laughs> she's number one. Is this Tender Sugar? I believe so. I love this track. So this is pretty much him explaining about the whole, oh, she's going to get possessed if she keeps getting hit and shit. Right. Kill her. Don't have any sympathy for him at this point. Pretty much. And this is ultimately Joseph's sad fate. He's now stuck in Walter's mind. So wait, was, was Joseph part of the 21 sacraments? Yes, he was. What number was he? I believe he was 15. Just before um, Cynthia. 22. Walter's an overachiever. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 22, once a mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> Bungled kid. <laughs> no, more like you messed up one of them right now. You got to pick the other one. You are the receiver, the 24th sacrament. Oops. How about you there, Jed? Pickaxe. Oh, shit, we're playing Fortnite. Nope. Fortnite. We got the pickaxe of hope. This one is not the one of despair. You can't actually use this one as a weapon, though. <laughs> pickaxe. Damn right. A golden shiny pickaxe of hope. <laughs> pickaxe of nope, more like it. Nope. <laughs> How that's dare that, you? That's nope. the evil one. That's the evil one. That's, <laughs> no, that's the pickaxe of despair. We got yeah. that back in yeah, the box. Yeah, pickaxe of nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's a umbilical cord. <laughs> Woo. Beware. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, box ghost. <laughs> I'd be so shit if you. I would love a fan mod of that. Silent Hill 4, except you're possessed by the. Except your hauntings are the Danny Phantom Ghost. <laughs> oh, candle. No, they're just all box ghosts. That wouldn't be as funny or as interesting. I actually just saw this Twitter video of a mod from uh, San Andreas. It's a cutscene that's supposed to happen. It's like, hey, Carl, and it's Sonic. <laughs> Was it just like one of those three second videos? Yeah. And then there was the, and then there's the classic. It's that big smoke. It's Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> or the white ghost as it's known in China. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Wait, what? You so didn't know about that? They censored uh, Winnie the Pooh from because the um, Winnie the Pooh is one of Winnie is one of the uh, nicknames of their president, who is a total dictator. Oh. And therefore, you're going to have Chinese players very flummoxed at being in the hundred acre wood without Winnie the fucking Pooh. <laughs> What the fuck? Hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's through the people? Did something happen through the people? I have no idea. Someone dropped the bookshelf? No, the bookshelf's <laughs> fine. Or someone, is it? Did someone drop the soap? Did you literally shit yourself? <laughs> <laughs> he shit bricks. He shit a brick. What brick? <laughs> I'm finally confident. I am finally at a secure enough position right now to actually crap my pants for the longest time. Number of saves, 27. Christ. I, I play this one very close to the best, especially on uh, Let's Plays. Nothing there. All right, so now the reality of it all. We got the pickaxe of hope. We're going to come back to this wall that we saw back in the uh, dark world down there. Oh. And we have a hole. Well, damn. How, could, how did you do it easier than Joseph? Well, see, here's the thing. I'm Henry, fuck, I'm Henry fucking Townsend. Fuck that. Joseph, J Joseph Schreiber actually had something going, but then he died because Walter was like, fuck you, you ain't getting, you ain't making a hole. You're not number 21. It's like I'd, like to know how Hen I'd like to know how Henry did not know this was in his apartment. Wait, come on, come on, the soup wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, it was pretty much, it was pretty much a I'm sorry, the deodorant has a bad odor. <laughs> it's kind of that's a really shitty deodorant. <laughs> Unless it's the like ass deodorant. Yeah. Is there a body in here? Yes, there is. It's middle schoolers with axe body spray. <laughs> mm. No worse hell <laughs> I can possibly imagine. 
It's Jolly Wally. That's where he's been. Who? Walter. Oh. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Walter's not one for uh, subtlety or half-assing something. Uh, 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 I, was, I was like, hey, come on. <laughs> I got candy. <laughs> I'm sorry, the sounds that well, that Henry was making is kind of... Didn't sell it that well for me. Yeah, he's got the cross and everything. So yeah, there's a that, there's a dark little shrine in the back of this room. Shit. Jeez, how long has he been here? Long enough. His body is tangled up in some kind of pipe. Something in his coat. Ten cents. <laughs> Tree fitty. <laughs> ah, the keys of liberation. It's just, it's, just your, it's just the keys to the locks. Wait, what's the description of it? I can't use this here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, do, we'll go put it in the box and then bring it back. It's, it's just the keys to open the locks. That it is. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. Damn. They're called the keys of liberation. Well, fuck. Okay. Extremely evil looking keys. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose the one other keys you've held that have been good. That he looked at me wrong. Like he's possessed by the devil. <laughs> <laughs> it is the devil. <laughs> but here's the moment of truth, folks. We're free. 